While many travel all the way to Greece to see the awesome Greek ruins, well, just south of the Amalfi Coast stands a dramatic reminder of the rich history of this part of Italy. Nestled along the Campania coast among the Italian farmlands with the famous buffalo who give the creamy, delightful mozzarella di buffalo that gracefully crowns the best pizzas on the planet, I kid you not, you'll find an ancient archaeological treasure containing the best preserved Greek ruins in the world laid out exactly as it was over 500 years before Christ. Walking through this ancient city, we find the marketplace, the gymnasium with its grand public and private pools, the Curia, which was where the local town council met, the thermal baths, guys this was pure luxury back then we also see the amphitheater and the houses still containing the mosaic floor tiles if you close your eyes you'd visualize this grand city as it was 500 bc southern italy was called magna gratia or greater greece basically the greek colony that once covered much of southern italy this name was given by the romans to the coastal areas of southern italy in the present-day Italian regions of Calabria, Puglia, Basilicata, Campania, and Sicily. These regions were extensively populated by Greek settlers, and the spectacular wonders of that western frontier of Greece can be well appreciated at Paestum. Once called Poseidonia in honor of Poseidon, the Greek god of the sea, this ancient Greek city is famous for its amazingly well-preserved temples. Paestum was founded by Greeks in the 6th century BC. The Romans conquered it in the 3rd century BC, but the final conquerors of Paestum were malaria-carrying mosquitoes who kept this site wonderfully deserted for nearly a thousand years. Today, Paisam offers visitors a vivid to scale glimpse of the grandeur and sophistication of the area's past life. The site includes the remains of three impressive ancient Greek temples in the Doric order, dating from about 550 to 450 BC. Let me simply elaborate the Doric style so everything makes perfect sense. In ancient Greek and ancient Roman civilization, the architectural orders are the styles of classical architecture, most readily recognizable by the type of column employed. The three orders of architecture are Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian, all originated in Greece. The best place to view all these three columns is at the Colosseum in Rome. The Colosseum, built in the 1st century AD, has four stories and has all three orders. The ground floor is Doric order, the next level is Ionic, and the third and fourth are Corinthian. Paisam, or the archaeological park of Paisam, has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1998. It's in the Campania region of Italy and is an ancient Greek later Roman settlement with the best preserved Greek Doric temples worldwide. The Greek temple in the northern part of Paisam is the Temple of Athena, and the two Greek temples in the southern part of Paisam are both temples of Hera. Now let's recap a bit on some Greek history so everything makes perfect sense. The Temple of Hera was dedicated to Hera. Hera, Hera, potato, potato. Anyway, Hera was the goddess of women, marriage, family, and childbirth in ancient Greek religion and mythology. Hera was one of the 12 Olympians and the sister and wife of Zeus. After mentioning Zeus, I bet you've found some bearings, right? Okay, please keep up with me. In ancient Greek mythology, the 12 Olympians are the major deities or gods of the Greek pantheon, commonly considered to be Zeus, Hera, Poseidon, Dementor, Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Ares, Hephaestus, Aphrodite, Hermes, and either Hestia or Dionysus. Although Hades was a major ancient Greek god of the underworld but far from Olympus and thus he was not usually considered to be one of the Olympians. These 12 gods were called Olympians because according to tradition they resided on Mount Olympus, the highest mountain in Greece, and Hera ruled over Mount Olympus as queen of the God. Okay, that's it. End of history class. If any of you would like to add something to class, feel free to comment below. Please keep it simple. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, now let's resume normal programming. All three temples are oriented east-west with the front facing the rising sun. The oldest temple is the southernmost one, the Temple of Hera I, erroneously called Basilica, built around 550 BC. The second oldest of the three temples is the Temple of Athena, also erroneously called Temple of Ceres, built around 500 BC on the highest point of Pystum. Oldest is the Temple of Hera II, sister and wife of Greek god Zeus. Not sure how the words sister and wife sit together in the same sentence, but hey, I've heard worse things in my lifetime. Also erroneously called the Tempio di Nettuno, that is the Neptune Temple, built around 450 BC. You should take a photo next to one of these temples to appreciate the scale. Another historical place with Greek temples in Italy that I visited is Selinunte in the Mediterranean's largest island of Sicily. Check the Selinunte video where I give you this temple's history and how it ended up here. Come along as I show you what's left of the other temples that once stood here. By the way guys, sometimes I really wish I could go back in time to see how the cities once looked like. But just to see and come back in present time because life back then was pretty rough. At this point, I'll keep quiet and let you peacefully watch because we are both stretched. All the same, I truly hope you enjoyed watching this video to this point. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. I'd appreciate. Thanks to all my subscribers, you guys give me the morale to keep going even when sometimes my back is stiff and tired from sitting all day editing videos. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, makes it worth it. I do travel videos all over Italy and since I come from the eternal city of Rome, I go pretty deep in my city and give you my travel fans the best guides to visiting Rome. Please watch to the end and thank you so much. Love you minute and see you in the next exciting destination. Ciao, 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 ciao. If you'd like some cool non-copyrighted music, I use Epidemic Sounds and if you use my link, you'll get 30 days free trial plus 2 months with 75% off, valid from November 25th to 29th. Please check out the link in the description. The ass of the horse or? A uh, boat. A uh, boat. The horse doesn't even have a, uh, a hole. They put the tail. I know. Somebody stole the fish. Eh, so nobody it doesn't put, have a hole. Nobody put the fish. <laughs> no, but really. It comes from down. <laughs> it is for this reason to avoid somebody hitting the cellar. Yeah, evil. Yeah, the people <laughs> who put phones now. Yeah. The way you think is evil. Or maybe it's just covering it. No, it's not. 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 Temple of Vena, known as the Basilica. In the southern part of the southern century, that's there. Because I might need to read the history later on. It's so static and cute. It's static and cute. Um, why? I've got some balls. I'm looking good with the reef. I know things. Tell me something I already read, but I didn't go. Oh, wow. I think that should be more than enough. Anyway, thank you. Ah, there's another temple. There are three. Ooh. Temple of Hera, Temple of Latino. Ah, what's the place? Nice. Ah, it's really nice. The bridge. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Temple of Neptune, Tempio di Nettuno, the largest and best preserved of the temples in Pose Poseidonia Paestum. What? The largest and best preserved. Uh, maybe. Why? Yeah? It's the largest in Poseidonia, the largest of the three. In Paestum? Paestum, uh, si. Ah, okay. Uh, not in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure, in not world. in the world. Well, I think the largest one is in Greece. Should be. So, Sometimes the boss, you know. Let's see, the boss uh, fire you, eh? Uh, who cares? At least I don't get to work with the boss guy. Boss Ferreira, Ferreira. What's that? Tell me. The Garagalla. Tell me, private, or not, the Foro. Private, it's private, it's possible. Of public. And the Greeks? Eh? Greeks, no. Sì, è più da smella. Mm. Che c'è qui dentro? Mm. Allora, pericoloso le casche. Dopo non che c'è qualcosa, perché dove c'è un cazzo ci rimetti perché la gente non ti diceva capito. Abitato romano di Paestum. Eh, questa è la casa, c'era, no? Sono romano, si studia in Loro lo riusavano, no? La strada è romana, mica la strada greca. la strada romana c'è una vecchia ah, strada romana c'è una vecchia 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 strada romana questo hanno coperto per non mannarci dentro la roba questo era un cazzo da dentro che l'hanno salvato che ne so se ci hanno messo sta finta o ci sta Che? Non si seppellisce in città dentro lo spazio ah. organizzato, soprattutto al centro città, quella degli uomini, quella che si muove il giorno di era una tomba le case, eh, per, 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 per. Una tomba? Sì, la tomba. 
E come si chiamava Aaron? Aaron, no, Aaron. Il nome, è il nome proprio di, di, della struttura. Ah. E so quando ero a Manrole, gli appiscetti. Ricato Romano, residential area. Eh? Eh? Case Romani. Dopo non mi tocca mettere pure noi in giardino. Eh sì, ancora ci siamo una di queste. Eh sì, una volta ho provato a fare culare. Eh ma io ti provo a dare io. Ma se la vedere. C'è stato verso un millino, non si è mossa. Che zitto come quello lì, eh, quello lì, quello lì. Era bello perché c'aveva. Le strade gli isolati. Eh? Le strade e gli isolati. Le strade isolate. Le sto prendo, giro sul foggi basso, perché è anche te. Casse romane, via sacra, sacro rolo. But it's a mess. What is that? But what do you mean? I meant Papa wants to leave Mama and go and get married to Ben. Ah. But why? Because Mama doesn't. Husband. Macedonia. Macedonia. 